Okay. <laughs> Falling asleep too fast. Missing so much of the game. Yeah, we beat the shit out of, uh... Uh, Kupka last night. <laughs> when, and he, he turned into a mountain, and we uh, flattened it, and it's gone from the world map. <laughs> what way is the What's up, Jill? We killed the Mother Crystal without you. <laughs> it's a very cool fight. We're seeing troops amassing at every border crystal. No surprises there. Welcome that's to the three. Yeah, that's three Mother Crystals. Is everything we've received and everything promised? You earned this. Best of luck out there, Sid. Clive, you're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Isn't it too left? I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any, uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. Hasn't your doors forever changed how my brain thinks of the name Vivian? The conquering hero returns, and with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident Physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave. As did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? Because the king is a dick. It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? The kingdom of Walud claims Yeah, dominion there's one up in the top all. right and there's one in the middle. It is a nation forged by the bloody <clears throat> conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence in 849. The Battle of the Twin Realms in 865. The Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. 
Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Waluda standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the Royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. I'll go and spread the word of my epic battle <coughs> with Kupka. <laughs> <clears throat> that ended with me uh, wiping an entire mountain off the map. Well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. Hey, uh, I need healing. And what can I do for you? The Enhancer. <clears throat> Alright, give me a sec. You know, I don't think... I don't think that 5 attack power is, uh, enough to justify the... 10 dip in stagger there. No. If the state of our copper is anything to go by... Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that... Hugo Cooker is dead. tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. <laughs> I'll try to live up to the name. Hey, Harpocracy, Her Harpocrates, I have a uh, story for the books. Ah, Clive, have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? 
No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Cooker is dead. Oh, my. Can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. Joshua has too. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake. Like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal Also, yes, man. we've seen a little bit more of a Dion. He's currently man. having a conversation with Whether Joshua. The Ultima you met with off screen the being itself or merely another projection of its power. I know not. But he also kissed I his do, boyfriend on screen. My it was great. Shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Mmm, frame rate. Crunchy frame rate. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. Hugo Koka is dead. <clears throat> Gosh, what is up with my throat? I didn't eat dry food, I swear. You barely sat down since you came home. Vivian got you running errands or something. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. I swear, the hideaway, like, as much as I absolutely love the design of the hideaway here, um... It's a bit difficult to navigate. <laughs> I think Mid might need some help. If I don't come up with something soon. How's your workshop down here going? All right, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... 
<laughs> Displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts mechin. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shielding around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor, then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. Gosh, Blackthorn is like the second most, like the second furthest NPC away from the from the workshop. We're seeing troops amassing in every quarter. Final Fantasy XIV quest flashbacks. Hey, I need you to deliver this all the way to a town on the other side of the world map. So your option is to either waste 10 minutes walking all the way out there and back, <clears throat> or you can spend uh, 500 gil to uh, teleport to the Aetherite. Blackthorn, can I ask a favor? How with it? It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. <clears throat> to be fair, they do give you a whole bunch of Aetherite tickets so you can teleport back to the Walking Sands, but... Gregor's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. Yeah, I've just been kind of... I've been kind of chilling. I just... Actually, I just got the quest to go and uh, deal with Titan in 14 so as well, so... Again, isn't she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh, what is it we need to do, exactly? Yeah, that's what I've Take got. Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade steel won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an ankle in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. We'll make your minds up who's going where and we can get this over with. <clears throat> you 
going after the Stardust, then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Gav. Gav, you're with me. All right, then. So, uh, where do we find this Stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcro, eh? That's down past Alamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn's supplier. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I'd like to see him try. In your own time. The whole thing with the Vesper Bay uh, Aetherite tickets is really funny to me. Because it feels kind of... It feels counterintuitive. Why would you have tickets that teleport you back to Vesper Bay? when you could just put an Aetherite in Vesper Bay. <laughs> oh great, side quests have opened. Seeing troops amassing at every border crossing. Well, no surprises there. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Anything catch your eye? Good day to you. I wonder if you could just, like, leave all of the side quests post time skip for later. Oh, the crystals we get from the time <clears throat> wall, but worthless. Well, we are to dig a new cellar. Ah, Clive. Your timing is exquisite, as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. I'm gonna go with something Given more dangerous. I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble. I wondered if you might investigate. Of course. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. All right. I will. Yeah, but like... <laughs> that's... That's like a... Uh... Right. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. I better find out if this is just What are the terms for it? It's like Something um need to take more seriously. The difference between the reason that the game devs made it away and the reason that it's like that lore-wise. Well, it is the Black Shields took a hiding the hands of some bit. Excuse me. Quinton mentioned strange figures having been sighted near the village. Have you seen anything? Nah, not me, Gov. I heard the rumors, though. I'm here most days, right next to the gate, and I ain't seen nothing out of the ordinary. Don't worry. Any shady characters try and slip into town this way, and I'll soon come running. And shouting, most likely. All right. Thank you. But yeah, there's like... There's a specific pair of terms for, like, this is why it's like that lore-wise, and this is why it's like that from a writing perspective. 
you have a It's moment? something in a Watsonian example. There's talk of like, suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it. Screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as my legs would carry me. And I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. <laughs> the Aetherite tickets work quality of life. Seems Lorbert's yeah. Pass is our best bet then. What do you say, Toggle? Shall we go and investigate? That's that's what I figured they this were. This is no time to ride. You're out of the town, Clive. Ride the damn bird. This is no time to ride. Let's go. Run like the wind. You there. Fuck! He's seen us. Get them before they escape! Black Shields. Here. What the hell are you doing here? What is it to you? Not that we give a damn. All that matters to us is that you don't leave here alive. I wish you luck in killing me when I have the ultimate combo. Most of what the Vesper Bay quests are is just come back here, talk, talk to Minifila, and that's about it. Like, nothing actually happens in Vesper Bay. You just need to, you just need to go there to talk to Minifila for one quest objective, and then immediately get sent off to the other side of the continent. Level. Thank you. Minifila, our secretary. Why were they here? Were they planning an attack on Lost Wing? I need to warn Quentin. Honestly, I think. <laughs> I think my favorite of the uh, Scions so far is their. Uh, her door girl, uh, Tataru. To you. She's great. <laughs> Though I do also really like Yishtola's design. <gasps> the crystals we get from the tail are all but worthless. It's a very basic design, but it it's very good. Clive, how goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds, though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. 
You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Because I want him dead. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of Sanbrac. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lostwing? <sighs> I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade, a means of ridding himself of his rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered. And he faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones. My livelihood. My position. The faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him. And slit their throats myself. But the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty all under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades, and our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well-trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. Make ready for war. This is a nice short side quest. Your resolve has been tested. <laughs> what happened, Taco? The finest Take a sniff, day. good sir. Children. <laughs> Gone, just like that. And without so much as a buy your leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? I'll see what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. And that's where I'll start. Ugh. I've been lucky enough with my, uh, streaming that I've only ever really caught one 
like group of people being hateful and it it wasn't even actually a group of people it was a it was a uh hate wave from a whole ton of bots run like the wind and it was like over a year and a half ago at this point it was during the uh first um it was during the hollow knight uh randomizer stream that i did with lapis You are not my target, but I'll kick your ass. My blade yet hungers and smokes. Come. Let us feast on your flesh. Amen. Your feasting days are over. Hey, I actually got all 30 hits of gouge off. This guy is like six levels above me. Punch move does a lot of damage, especially if you have the stagger damage multiplier capped. I can imagine. I haven't actually used uh, Titan's move set. I should probably try that out. Well done, Tor. basically just I'm realizing now that this guy basically just rocked up and blocked me from getting to a quest objective for no reason other than he felt like being in the way
cool. That was enough to give me a whole ass extra level. Wow. Those who kill for sport deserve no better. That one notorious monster was literally worth an entire... an entire level by itself, and half of an elixir, which he made me use. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? And certainly not a baker. Master must rue the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you miss the Mother Crystal. I hated her, but she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin, but I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Perhaps you could express yourself in your work. If you miss the fang, maybe you could recapture it somehow. Recapture it? I'm a... Baker, not a... You know... You might just be right. What a fool I've been! I have to get back to the bakery right away. Thank you! Thank you, my friend! You've opened my eyes! Wait. How did this guy get out here with the notorious monster over there? <laughs> But yeah, like My carpets have the big thing sir. with that is that it's one of those things of ah, there you are. some people the will fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get <laughs> to my oven. Master, it's ready. Behold the Drake's balm. A truly unique creation. I dare Ix say Nana it Banana. Is. I like your username. <laughs> Just Welcome in. Look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the Fang without her crater? Why? No Fang at all. And look, inside, she's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the Fang. Aimed yourself after a meme. Well, if it tastes off as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. Fill it with meat instead. <laughs> Not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight. With any luck, I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. Mm. But, um... It would make it's one of those things where... 
as as a small streamer like i i've definitely fallen into the trap of doing this at least at least once there's probably there's probably like another instance or two that it's happened oh, but gosh. um like being a really small streamer makes you really hesitant to actually like reprimand and ban people from your chat which is real it's a really bad thing and i've actively been like okay you know i need to be better at this Use non biny. <laughs> Searching for a good username since your old one didn't fit me when you realized you were agender. But yeah, it's one of those things where it's it's hard to it's hard to like tell people off when you feel like you're scrambling to make any sort of headway. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. Stardust. <laughs> it just looks like black sand to me. The, the, I I swear I'm saying this all the time with this game. This is a 14 quest. Like <laughs> this is literally a 14 quest. Yeah. It's definitely... It's weird. For a lot of people, it's kind of a uh, learned habit to be able to be like, no, you need to fuck off. And so it... It makes it difficult for a lot of people to kind of muster up that ability to be able to tell people off when they're wrong or when they're being a dick. Pray return to the Curse Breakers hideaway, yeah. That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. Let me guess, Gav is being attacked because that's how this game works. <laughs> Put maybe five people on block lists. Yeah. It's definitely one of those things of like, it feels rude to block people even when you're doing it. Like, even when you're justified in doing it, you know? You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. Oh, you win. That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Hey, I, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Yes, I have seen Alpha Nod. I haven't learned, like, anything about him. I've just learned his name, but... Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. 
Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain? Hardly ever see you around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Was well, as the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. Now kiss. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. See if in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Gav, that's a death flag. Put that down, Thanks please. No keys. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. That's a really funny typo, Squiggles. Right. Ready to go home, boy? This is all Blackthorn needs. Blackthorn, we brought you your, uh... Magic sand. As we'll Blackthorn. call it. Got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tod all the time. I'll make a start on putting this firm all plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Narrowly missed trans girl stereotype. Wanted to do, wanted to do game dev and programming. I'm. I suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shot if you need anything. Since there's a thing called white smithing, would there be a white thorn in this game? <laughs> Imagine white thorn. He would be like the most polite dude on the entire, uh, like, in this entire area. And he would uh, absolutely never drink. But yeah, I feel like I've checked off. <laughs> I feel like I've checked off every single trans girl stereotype there is, other than owning a Blauhai, because I do not have the shark blush. Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in. You're a mechanical engineering major before you swapped to psychology. Soon. But yeah, it's like I'm I'm making a game. I do art. I play Final Fantasy 14. <laughs> You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins. I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. <laughs> 
Mr. What's it to you? Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, and no, yes. I haven't done Warhammer. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. I do D&D &D, though. You see the Mithril engine in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Cool, we're making a steam Excess engine, got heat it. Is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. I'm kind of glad that he didn't hit, hit you with the classic, uh, ah, yes. in English, it's please. in Lorbert's Pass near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably... Also, shipbuilding is definitely the scroll's hyperfixation. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there it's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them it's um going to be considerably more dangerous than that i see then i suppose i'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you would that help oh very much thank you sid i'll gather my team and head there right away we'll meet you outside the ruins 5e is a lot of fun, but, like, just from what I've read of, like, the DMG and some modules and stuff, 5th edition is a lot of fun, but it requires a lot of, uh, homebrewing <laughs> to make it work for whatever you want. Because <laughs> its, its rules are not particularly well put together. There's a lot of blind spots on it we'll taking you all to a storehouse in the bales leave anything you don't need behind and to be fair homebrew is one of the most fun parts of tabletop rpgs but it's one of those things where it's like there is no vanilla rules in 5th edition for shit like crafting ready, or enchanting. Like the closest you get is like artificer class specific stuff. That's like you can make infusions that function like minor enchantments. Come on. Fly Ambrosia. Yeah. That's what that's what mine does as well. My I play D D with my dad, and my dad is the DM. Time to fight. And uh he kinda for the most part he sticks to the rules of fifth edition. Unless it's n unless something needs to be homebrewed, but um, if it's stuff that he has like books from other editions of, he'll pull those out occasionally. Like we're doing a uh, Spelljammer campaign currently, and he's using like second edition Spelljammer stuff for it. Three point five has rules for everything, but as a result, has next to no power cap. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. 
I'll be right back. I've only ever played two races in D&D, &D, and I played Tiefling twice and Tabaxi once. <laughs> This must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. Unwanted visitor, cool. I fought some of these in 14 earlier today, actually. Lacking in social slash non combat feats and complexity. First character was a gnomish thief slash cleric. Yeah, my uh, my first character was a pure bard. It was a tiefling bard, and uh, I enjoyed that character a lot. And then my second one was a tabaxi rogue. And my current character is a uh, is a tiefling warlock. Uh, tiefling warlock with one level in bard to get two extra spell slots. Wanted to be able to prank and have no consequences. Finished. You've near exclusively played druids. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um... See that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. Okay. <laughs> My first character was going to be an encore character in our second campaign, but I was like, eh, I want to try something new. And then I made a tabaxi that could sprint like 300 feet in a turn. So that was fun. If I don't come up with something soon. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right, the shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shield in. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple-thick layer of tempered steel might do it, 
or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight, and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains, and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? I really like Mint's right design. Simple, but cute. You know, with how many characters that have really simple designs, I'm just like, ooh, I like this design. You would probably think that I enjoy, like, very simple designs a lot. I love me some really over-the-top anime bullshit, super complicated character designs. Wish you could have a braid as long as mids. Yeah, I feel that. Wait, I just put two and two together as to what this reminds me of. This reminds me of a segment from Monster Hunter World. Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive, always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? And what are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet... We have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. 
I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom Why? in your capable hands, Clive. Why are you making me pick characters? Like... <laughs> Shielding that guards against even the most ferocious flames. We could have done with some of that on Drustinus. I doubt I would have survived that place with or without it. A trip to Northreach, though, I think either of us could handle. Shielding that guards against even the most ferocious flames. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? Jill, you're with me. Very well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list. Here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very... edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence moon dews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Go out and get me a pack so? of cigarettes. I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. I wonder if Moondew is alcoholic like Moonshine? Probably. No. Where's Jill? <laughs> Welcome. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. There's talk that the glass gate flood has fired. Keep them pilgers nice and chilled. Are those pepio nuts? You can never tell. How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I've only just started. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're finished. Probably not alcoholic, but it would make you feel weird. <laughs> Up. You'll not find I'm, ju I'm just imagining, like... <laughs> It's essentially like fire repellent stuff that you just, it's like cream and you just like spread it on toast and it's alcoholic. <laughs> what can I interest you in today? I trust it's all here. Keep fighting the good fight. How the hell is anyone supposed to... What do you want? Go on, take it. That's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Booze butter. Did you find everything? I did. An alcoholic's yeah. dream breakfast. Garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. But before we head back, would you walk with me a while? magic to this bread basket out of nowhere. Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. 
It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells? <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Well, sort of. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just... Oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry. Making me hungry, it's... game. Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Clive. Clive. <clears throat> Clive, Is I'm going to force feed you this bread. This? No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. When we can live on our own terms. I hope so. Thank you, Clive. Gosh, it feels like a hot minute since I've... How many games has it been since I've been, uh... Since I've done, like, proper voice acting? I guess I did a little bit in Automata, but... Well, I suppose we better be getting back. I need to give these ingredients to Hippocrates and Talia. I'll Clive, quit way. complaining. You like bread, Take don't care. you? I will. You too. Clive, take this bread with no butter and no meat. Just eat the damn loaf of bread with nothing on it. <laughs> At least it's not Persona. <laughs> hey, to be fair, like... I really enjoyed streaming Persona. It was just very difficult on my throat for the last, like, five streams of it. <laughs> Beer battered halibut and corn hush puppies. Honey butter? Mmm, that sounds really good. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. We go into uh, Harpo Harpocrates' uh, library, and he's got like a meth lab set up. How's work on the shielding progressing, Harpocrates? Well, very well indeed, and thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill. Would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. My dad makes really good cod. Oh, and Clive. He's a great cook. <laughs> it was nice just being with you. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon do are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other. Followed by a rigorous <laughs> process of testing and retesting, of course. 
Perhaps someone ought to warn young Mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. You think you took the medical lady for this side story? Makes sense. I, I was tempted oh. to, but I also was like... <laughs> there's a part of me that was thinking in, like, how Final Fantasy VII has the, uh... Oh, I'm so close. Go and give Mid the good news, then. Um, Final Fantasy VII has, like, the affection point system, and I was like, mmm... I don't know if this game has something like that, but I'd rather not toy with it. Because <laughs> Jill would be my first choice to hang out with out of those two. I went up to give some breeze to the chocolate. So I'm thinking, um, I know that I've already thrown a couple of ideas out for what game to stream next, but because I'm feeling very much like, ooh, I want to do some voice acting, I'm thinking books that don't have any I either want to do something like Sea of Stars, which has been on my list for a little bit, or the next Ace Attorney game. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, Mid. But After this. To know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the Black Hammer! Still watching your nephew? You know, when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> that was a cute laugh. Thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. You making us an airship? I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean. <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. 
You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. The mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. A quarter finished. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Mid told me she was building a... Mid's dungeon. <laughs> I was looking at the side quest and I was like, wait a second, what? <laughs> Mid's dungeon. I think a more fitting name for it would be the mid cave, but that's just me. Well, here, Sid. Reckon you might be just the man to help me out with a bit of bother, if you've a mind to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the Chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out? Does this guy sound like a Bloodborne NPC? I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. Alright. Why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. Fireflies. Blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get hold of some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand... All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? He there you go. He, he, said the, he said the thing. He said the Bloodborne thing. Roll credits. You thought the same thing? Yeah, it's gotta be like the. He's using all of the weird, like, contractions and he's like whispering. Oh, you meant the fireflies thing? <laughs> rank
Look, that's worth one entire elixir. <laughs> okay. Rock and Sambrek. Oh wait, Sambrek is over here, right? The Bomb King has an explosive personality. Never played Bloodborne, but you've played enough FromSoft to completely understand. Honestly, like, Bloodborne is easily my favorite of the, uh, of the FromSoft games. Like, it's... It's such a good game. To the point that I am like, there's a part of me that wants to stream it again. <laughs> okay, let's double check this. So it's the Croc Sambrek is what we're looking for. But I don't remember what chunk of the uh, world map was Sambrek. Sambrek is the Empire. It's like... Ugh. Here? Is it like off in this chunk of the map that I haven't been to? Starting to get to the point that I'm I might start skipping side quests. Keyword there being might. Because all of the plus side quests seem to have uh, extra benefits to them for finishing them. But I don't know, I burned through so much money in this game. It's entirely possible that I'll need to do side quests just to keep buying shit.
I'm not here to fight you. All right. Oh, wait, this goes all the way through over to Lost Wing. dragon over here. This isn't what I want. <laughs> I do kind of wish that the notorious marks had like any sort of marking on the map. It doesn't have to be like, you know, oh, it's right here sort of deal. It just needs to be like, give me a circle on the map. Like one of the big, oh, you know, there's something in this area circles. Was the South? Also, I don't know what you're uh, talking about, Taco Time. Like, I hate out oh, this. Let's go. Fly up, Rosia. You're fine. I just, I wasn't responding to it because I wasn't, like, I was focused on trying to find the stupid thing that I'm looking for. You're perfectly fine. Less traveled path that leads to the mansion. There it is, the croc. That'll do, girl. This isn't where I meant to go. This is where I meant to go.
This song specifically reminds me very heavily of Nier. Portal 2. I know that I only streamed Portal 1 recently, and I don't even know if the mod is out for it yet, but... So it frustrates me that the king does not have a stagger bar. Come on. Oh shit. How am I not dead? Hold off for a sec while I wait for uh, that to happen. Multiple hits with this now, out of nowhere. Ow! You are level 33, you should not be doing this much damage to me. mechanics if this game has those it hasn't told me about them it would make sense for it to have them but I nearly warped away without picking this up not to collect the ash I should this looks like the stuff let's see if there's any more I 
That should do it. Back to the hideaway. Sorry, Mr. Owain, I need to go and get myself some, uh... Is it business or pleasure? Go on, then. It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Crystal too. I'm joking. Oh gosh, why are there <laughs> Why? Hopefully it's nothing, but I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. I'm just gonna do the uh, the side quest with the pluses with the pluses on them for now, and if we hit a point where the game is like this is a point of no return, like we did with the time skip spot earlier, I'll go back and do more side quests. Blackthorn, do you have a moment? Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you, and you might still be doubting your craft, even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well... Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. And that was? A sword. An odd-looking thing with a single-edged blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be it off the home before he even realized it's it a katana, cut. isn't it? So that's what's troubling you. Nah. No, no, no. They're not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. Why does Clive's, like, talking while smiling face look so weird? Yeah, it's always nice Ooh, having you around, okay. Taco. What you want? Out with it. I want to know about the sword you showed Blackthorn. Single-edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. Let me guess, you sold the sword already. Many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. Lord Ignac's the man you want. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favourite clients. Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dallamil, where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh. And he's... a touch eccentric. If you take me meaning. I appreciate the warning. Okay. Is that 
the thing Tomes helped to build. Ned told me she was building a ship. Said. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. I find it really weird that the game adds the extra step of making you That's the stuff. like choose to give over of it too. the items. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Right then, let's get this contraption up and running. Telemon Malembic. And it works just like the Chief said it would. <sighs> Very impressive. <laughs> Says the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a the favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your <gasps> potions in. Reckon I could work some magic on that, huh? Increase my what inventory capacity, please. Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. But we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah, I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen it up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Well, it can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit. Leave it with He me. sounds like Shakespeare, yeah. Maybe a mo. Yeah, I got I did the one that increased the potion potency. Well, what do you reckon? It certainly feels more of Flexible. Right? Told you. Thank you. I think. No, no. Thank you for supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your bag. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. Sounds like a threat. <laughs> <laughs> That didn't sound. That didn't sound like a reassurance. That sounded like a threat. <laughs> Ooh, six normal potions, four high potions. It didn't increase my elixir stock though, which is sad, but understandable. <laughs> This conversation sounds so bad out of context. I could see it. Chloe. How in the world did I talk to you? A stranger, eh? How may I help you today, Clive? Your benefactors are a generous lot. Four or 800 AP, I will gladly There's accept that there, because that means that I can get the uh, Phoenix ability upgraded to its max. <laughs> I made your sack more flexible.
Okay, so... People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. Gone. The whole mother crystal, gone. What are we gonna do? If you press triangle while hovering over an ability, it tells you what the upgrade does. Really? Oh, it even uh, has it there. Wait. I can assign this on other icons now? Wow. Honestly, even without the uh, extra boosted uh, damage increase that it gave, the fact that that makes it so I can equip it to other icons is kind of nuts. And um, it also dropped the cooldown by like almost a full 20 seconds, which is also pretty crazy. My it's an iconic will be ruined. move. Ruined! Calm yourself, Lord Ignac, I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Do Only yourself a mischief? But... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Redeem! Get rid of the filthy oath this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? Or icon ultimate moves like Gouge and the Titan Punch. Yo, hey Kritiga, how are you doing? I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. He has been dispossessed of his luggage, you see. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, you know Lady Karen. Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. Finish some what Sekiro and some Mahjong Soul. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went. I did not. No. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence and arrange <laughs> for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell, and best of luck. But yeah, uh, for those of you who came in with the raid and don't already know me, uh, hi, I'm Maddie. Uh, I am a variety streamer. I play a lot of a lot of different types types of games. <laughs> um, I especially like RPGs and visual novels. And I've been told that I have a fantastic voice. So. It tends to catch people off guard, but it's always amusing seeing people react. <laughs> Ready? 
Ready, go. Yeah. This this isn't a game that I get to flex my voice on much, but. But yeah, I'm I'm crossing my fingers that I won't have a random like, oh, I want to do this game for uh, like for the next game because I want to do um, I want to do another like heavy text game. Like I want to either do something along the lines of the Great Ace Attorney two. Or like Sea of Stars. I know that you just got you only recently got done playing that, didn't you, Critiga? We got company. Come on, lads, let's tear the bastard's head off. Still playing Sea of Stars, had to take a break because your voice was hurting. Understandable, like. That's another game that I need to play. I need to play Chrono Trigger. Like, Chrono Trigger is just a game that I've had on my list for forever and haven't ever gotten around to. Love chocobos, yeah. Let's try. See you in a bit, Critiga. But yeah, like, there's, there's a decent chunk of those, like, classic RPGs that I've never played. I've never played Final Fantasy VII. This must be Ignac's luggage. This is actually the first Final Fantasy game I've ever played, other than, like... Let's get it back to I played 14 before this, technically. And I played, like, less than an hour of a couple of others, but... This is the first one that I'm playing through properly to completion. And here I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. A formidable name indeed. Well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that sword. It was made in the Outer Isles, far beyond don't, the Don't tomb. say that. This is a setting that has actual slavery in it. Don't say by that. The practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. 
There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. Hmm. But how do they hide such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array of them, ranging from the coarse to the fine. Ten thousand licks with the sharpening stone, then ten thousand more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Why, when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered, take this, together with my regards, the very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself, and a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. So it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous <laughs> scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. Yeah. And there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, but only one do I consider my nemesis. Ah. Lord Byron Rosfield. And is a perennial thorn in my side <laughs> I can imagine farewell wyvern may our paths cross again <laughs> Radim, we mustn't dawdle I think his lordship is rather taken with you master wyvern thank you again for your assistance coming my lordship I'll be right there. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Okay. Blackthorn, I have a whetstone for you. Use it on my sword and make it stronger, please. Sorry. Do not way. show children Madoka. Hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. <laughs> you will scar them. You learned something about our sword then. I did better than that. <laughs> Yes, but not one you'll find anywhere in Valisthea. Blackthorn, sword, upgrade, now. No wonder I couldn't get a same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> one hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <sighs> Good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the Curse Breakers an edge? <laughs> I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattle me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the Curse Breakers wouldn't know how to wield, probably, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy, nah. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just... don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age, and I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. 
I owe you one. August 2. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. You come and find me when you've got the materials. All right. I will. Ghost of Tsushima is another game that I need to play. I don't think I would stream it because open world games don't really gel with how I like to stream games, but... Though I will say, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has been one of my favorite stream games. I'm very excited to go back to the need? DLC for that. What do you want? Wow, that is a big upgrade. Can I actually get this now? Fell off that game hard after the first map section. What do I need to get the uh, Grimalkin hide? What do I need to fight for that? Bro, you've been carrying that same crate for like three weeks. You might want to set it down and give it a rest. Is that the thing Tom's helped to build? Mid told me she was building a ship. A cripple can I assume? The Cattery in Dalmechia. I have immediately forgot what I just said. And now I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I think I was supposed to be going up this to the jaw. The most fragrant herbs. Do son, I know you're cute. Oh, where did all the men of the rock get? Fights and birds! Cattery. There's a lot of sections over here that I haven't been to. I assume it's probably off in this area that I haven't been in yet. No, Anything I can interest you in? An excellent choice. Here you are. I appreciate that this game doesn't replace all of the background music when you're riding on your chocobo. Like, yeah, the chocobo theme is iconic, but like, I want to listen to the normal background music without having to sacrifice my movement speed. And this is more of a complaint about FF14. <laughs> Because if you're riding a chocobo in 14, you're, uh, you're stuck listening to the chocobo theme. Enough of you, are there? Fourteen brain rot. Yep. Absolutely.
14 brain rot hasn't left me since uh since I started 14. I can't write any choke if I just play City Ruins. Red 13 moment. I haven't played that game. <laughs> Honestly, like, there aren't many, uh. Let me introduce you to mine. There's not a whole lot of Square Enix games that I've actually, like, properly finished. Because, like, I think... The only Square Enix games that I've finished on stream are the, uh, Nier games. I think. Oh, and the Kingdom Hearts games. The Kingdom Hearts games make up 99% of the games that I've finished. How's KH2 Rando going? I haven't done one in a hot minute. Just because, like, I don't want to burn myself out on them. Most of what I have done for Kingdom Hearts 2 Rando has just been, like, testing out different settings and trying to figure out how the tracker works, because the tracker is weird. But... I think, I think I've got it figured out for when... <laughs> Holy shit, that was cool. I think I've got it worked out for when I want, for when I end up streaming it. We'll do, we'll do a cage to Rando soonish. And, uh, I would like to do a KH1 rando at some point, but, like, KH1 is such a weird game to go back to after playing 2. to learn but once you do it's very helpful yeah that's that's kind of the gist i've got from it is that like it's really weird because it doesn't really function like how the uh, link to the past rando tracker works where you're marking off items to uh there's not really spots that you can't get to at least not with the messing around settings that i've been doing there's not really spots that you're locked out of certain items other than like the world items but um it's weird because it like rather than you checking off what you've already got it removes it from the list I am excited to do a KH2 rando like I want to do more randomizer, like... Randomizer is just one of those things where it's a very chill vibe. I needed that. And I mean, I hope that my normal streams are a chill vibe, but...
Looking at this guy, the more this guy does kind of remind me of Red 13 from 7. I think it's just like the, the orange tiger look. I think I should stream 7 original before I stream 7 remake. I have, like, a relatively decent understanding of the story of Seven. <sighs> that wasn't too bad, was it, Togo? I don't know. I definitely plan to stream more Final Fantasy just because, like, it's a series that I have very minimal interactions with. And what can I do for you? Going purse weighing you down. I'm going to end up giving uh, either Tifa or Aerith the Jenna voice that Sachi loves to death. me blind, you know. So, what would it be? No scratches, right? Why can't you upgrade the Anything purple else? swords? <laughs> what about Yuffie? It's a good question. I mean, Yuffie is technically an optional party member in 7 original, but... Optional party member means non-optional party member, so... All right, Clive. Astrid. Mid finished sending half the hideaway traipsing in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She... did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. What was I gonna say? Um, I actually don't have any sort of like. Overless. Reference for how it? Yuffie sounds in yeah. remake because I haven't played Integrate in at all. Boat going that way, <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are you? No, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, and she. But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What tidings, uncle? Okay. Dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a, a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strongbox with us, 
but his considerable knowledge of the goings-on in the free cities, by which I learned the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I for one believe Miss Telemann's project is to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canverian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards. No matter how deserted, if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door, which is why I pen you this note. <clears throat> I'd like to borrow your man Gav for a moment or two, that he might keep watch on those who might mean our little fellowship ill, and warn, of, warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. Your loving uncle, Byron. Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Med. Whenever I hear the name Byron, my brain always goes to Pokemon Diamond, so Pearl, what? and Platinum. Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset. It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. <laughs> Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Thank you for Just the hydrate. Sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. I swear, this water bottle is like a game changer. It's amazing. Music. Don't make me cry. Well, Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. Say this, old friend. Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. Mm. And not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It 
wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you, but we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader, assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Ooh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And he's he's having the time of his life. Glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off, me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Famous last words. Did you see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. Also, this sword, like the Excalibur sword, looks really cool. What Final Fantasy game was it that had Excalibur as a weapon, but had a stronger version that was called like Excalibur 2? That 9? You had to like speed run through the game to get to it. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Taya. I'm glad to hear it. And Toggle helped too. Didn't you, boy? What do you What do you mean there's a new quest available nearby? This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Nice. 
nine had Excalibur, an Excalibur two maybe. This time route limit to reach the sword. Of course, the Ella area looks like the American desert. Yeah, I was I was thinking that. Like, I've definitely been to places like this. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. So what do you think? Do we have a release date for the uh, Thousand Year Door remake yet? figure out when I'm gonna sl slide into the schedule. I also need to figure out when I'm gonna put Paper Mario 1 in there. Torgal and Jill took out the, uh, the rest of the enemies, I guess. <laughs> We've done the Republic a service. I see the Dalnecks lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. Gosh, the ruins in this game are so cool looking. This is a holy bridge, yeah. whiplash these enemies are. <laughs> Granted, I guess, like, high technology hasn't exactly been a foreign concept for Final Fantasy since, what, like, six? Maybe even earlier, but I haven't seen much of four and five. It's like Wild West one moment, then aliens the next. So this is a Mechas. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. 
If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominance and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> the coolest part about this area to me is that you can see that big crater on the world map, and I noticed it, like, Five. Something wrong. a little bit ago, and I was like, hmm, I wonder what happened there. Nothing. It's really cool. It's nothing. I was hoping this would be a spot that we got to visit. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieka made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? 
Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind. And my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your Emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? You know, they're pushing Dion pretty far for someone who could literally level their entire city. The and he could probably do it in one spell, too. Bahamut has funny Zeta Flare that he can cast. And I don't doubt that it wouldn't. I don't doubt that it would have any issue. It's like, what? Infiltrating I don't the think it would have any issues the leveling the city. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinsight. His troops are well-trained and increasingly battle-hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. More refugees. And they're all making for the Crystalline Dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the Crystal's blessing. Oh, it slows you. It makes it so you can't sprint when there's text on screen. That's a weird. From here. Mm. There are no crystals here. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Yeah, look at that. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end for today here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed.
uh exclamation point discord if you want to join the discord exclamation point socials if you want to follow uh my blue sky or uh the vods channel on youtube otherwise give me just a sec and we'll find someone to raid I forgot to unmute. <sighs> Luckily, it wasn't for like an hour and a half of dialogue like it was during Great Ace Attorney. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you to all of you who uh, stuck around after the raid. And thank you again, Critica, for the raid. I really appreciate it. Uh, I should hopefully be back with more of this tomorrow. It depends on how I'm feeling. I might insert some randomizer in here, be it Kingdom Hearts 2 randomizer or, uh, you know, some, some Link to the Past rando. But yeah, uh, whatever we're doing tomorrow, I'm hopefully streaming tomorrow. I guess have a good one and take care.